exciting. Let's get him again. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's gonna get 93%. Maybe. Oh, Alabama man is number 275. He doesn't even have a percent. He's number 275. That is that is intense. I don't know if we can beat Alabama man. It's intimidating, you know, to be like, oh, I'm number 275. I've got a number. Okay. I think... Mm, we don't know what they're going to play. They have red hair, so they might be... They might be... Mm, I think it's a trick. I don't think they're actually going to be playing a red deck. They have Yorian. Red the red hair lady makes you think that they're going to be playing a red red deck, but they have Yorian, and that's white and blue. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the the fire hair lady. Mmm, blue. Just as I suspected. Okay. So that means potentially what we're worried about is um, Elspeth again, if they play a, a black mana, which they might, they could do that. I could see that happening. Got three, three. So we're out of range of Elspeth for Flourishing Fox, personally. Um, okay, and they did play a black mana, so that they could have had uh, something to take care of that, to take care of us. Um, and since we, mm, okay, I'm gonna go for it again. We're going to go for it again, and we are going to go for blood. I mean, cycle it, anyway. This is a very good um, hand to have. Uh, there, I don't think there's any kind of, like board clear they could do with three mana. That seems like a ridiculous board clear if there is one. Ooh, okay, so look at that. They had this card, and they wanted to use it to destroy a creature with no counters on it, but I had counters. Um, but it does mean uh, that they're going to play Elspeth this time. No? Okay, maybe not. I thought they did that so they could play Elspeth. You know, some... I don't know everything, I guess. Okay. Improbable Alliance. Oh. oh. They say no to that. They say, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so, buddy. Oh, we got another one. I don't know why they were so afraid of Improbable Alliance. That's, you know, not the scariest card that I have. Mm, four mana board clear. Right. Four mana, not three. Four. Okay. Okay. Is it a weak play to do this and cycle the Triome and get one guy out? I think it might be. 
I think it might be a little bit weak to do that. But we can still play that and then get Lurus out. And then next turn, ho ho, next turn, you just wait. You just wait next turn. We're gonna cast him and do stuff. Okay, five mana. Ooh. Okay, this is a tough one. Uh, basically, every turn you have to uh, sacrifice a non-land, non-token permanent. That's a, that's a rough one. For sure. But... We are going to make the best, make the best of the situation. Uh, we're going to give our creature haste, bring us down to five, and oh, well, what are they? What are they doing? What are we looking at? They don't have anything, so I think they have to get rid of Doom Foretold itself. Um, no? Okay. So I guess they're playing that, and then they're going to get rid of it? Hmm. Okay. They're not, they're not going to give it up that easy. Oh, and the glass casket. Oh, no. And the glass casket. Okay. Well, it's not helpful. Let's get rid of that. It's not helpful. Let's get rid of that. That would be helpful um but this is gonna kill <laughs> it's gonna kill it if we do that okay let's okay play it anyway we'll play it anyway so we can have another turn and we'll cycle this uh huh? Uh And we can draw four cards next turn, maybe. Ooh, maybe they'll get rid of Glass Casket. Mm hmm. That could be good. Oh, or they're gonna they're gonna do another Omen of the Sea. I think. I think they're gonna do another Omen of the Sea. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe they're just like, just kidding. You can have you can have your cart. You can have your creature back. Just kidding. Oh. Um, one, two. Oh, I can't do anything. Dang, Nabbit. Oh, I got, I got the same card back. Okay. Uh, four cards. Legend of Zelda, four cards adventure. And we still still have not gotten um, a, a Zenith Flare, which would allow us to win. We have 11, they have 7. They're doing something with 3, probably going to get Yorian into their hand. Maybe not. Oh, oh, okay. 
you're gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Whenever you cast a spell, you lose one life. Oh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty low. I don't know. They're pretty low. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe we can use that. Maybe we can use that. Uh, maybe we can use that. And maybe we can... Ah, uh, very close. They're, they're very close to being dead. Three. Ooh, Elspeth, you're, you're here. Elspeth is here. Wonderful. Still three. Cyclone, baby. I want that Zenith Flare. They have one mana. They could not counter it if we, if we got it. Couldn't counter it. If we got it. it. If we got it. Oh. Oh. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Sometimes you cycle through half your deck without getting a Zenith Flare. Sometimes. Okay. And then they are getting rid of these. Okay. They come back and they're going to scry and draw. They're going to draw three. And then they're going to get two humans and draw to gain two life. I see. Man. Holy cow. Like, ugh, ugh, nothing. Just getting so close, so close there, and just woof. Now, the question is. Can we survive long enough? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's not gonna kill us, so I say take the damage. And they say, what do they say? They say, I agree, take the damage. Okay, cycle. Cycling. Building that graveyard back up. Okay, I think we can win. All right, here's my idea. We attack with everybody. Huh? Just the, just the one. We attack with just the one. Go to the blockers. Huh? They are certainly going to counterspell this. Certainly. But we have to try. Because we're going to make it a 4-4 four, four creature, and then we'll have enough to kill them.
Ooh. Ah. No. No. Well, it was a good try. It was a good try. Can block you. Can block you. Can block you. But we're still gonna die. Damn. Defeat clutched from the, the jaws of victory. All right. You know what it is. We got negate. We got roiling vortex. Um, and as much as it was nice to have the improbable alliance, we don't actually need it. I don't think. Um, all things going according to plan, they shouldn't get to that point in the first place. They're like, hmm, hmm, what other cards could I get into my deck that would counter you other than the card that I already have in my deck, which will get rid of your graveyard, which is in their deck solely because of this deck. So in, in, in effect, it is already a counter. But that's okay. This is Alabama Man, rank 275. They have glowing fists of fire, and they're not afraid to use them. And they are not afraid to use the full extent of the time that they are allotted. Fair enough. What do y'all think? Do we do we have a chance against Alabama man? Oh look, Riot's on. Riot in the chat. Playing magic herself. Okay. We have negate. Good. That would have won us the game if we had that. And of course, also, if we were able, able to draw. A Zenith Flare at all. Sometimes it do be like that. Okay, turn one, you can't do anything about Fox. Fox is unable to be defeated. No, my negate. Oh, no. They saw through my plan. They destroyed my card. Okay, so we're gonna want a token. A token on the fox, fox token. Um, so we have to play. Mm, okay, I should I should have done the Rogren trial instead. Will it cost us the game? I hope not. But then when you're playing against Alabama, man, you never know. You know there's not a lot of cruft. Cruft? Scruff McGruff. Okay, we are going to cycle. Cycle this. As crazy as that sounds. Um, and then we're going to put down Triome, because we have a 3-3. 3-3, three, three. Three, three. We're, we're good. Elspeth means nothing to me. Yeah, you maze my tome instead. That's a different thing. Um, and... Okay. 
get a red guy out here. Get a red guy. Get a Valiant Rescuer to protect us from the four mana extinction event. And... You know what, why don't we get a Roiling Vortex out there? Because I think we're going to get an extinction event anyway. So now they have three targets that they're like, shit, I gotta get this off the board. And that's good because they have to use different um, techniques to do so. Right, so that's gonna get rid of Roiling Vortex. Whereas before they would have used it on Valiant Rescuer or Flourishing Fox. At least that's what I think is going to happen. They could pick anybody. They only they are the Alabama man. Okay. Now we can put out Lava Glide Pathway. Mm hmm. We can. Using this to draw four cards would not be bad. Three, four, five, six. Um, uh, okay. We might use this to draw cards for its intended purpose, perhaps. Um, and we might grab this boy. Out here. Let's get a. Ooh, they got it on the top. That means that they got everything they wanted. They got all that delicious. delicious juice that they crave. They are searching their forest. Choose odd or even. Exile each creature. Okay, so they are going to pick even. Okay. Even. I can't even. And then. It is my turn. Okay. So Loris and then Valiant Rescuer would be all right. Get Loris. Um, and, oh, actually we could do Footfall Crater and get three extra damage on him. That certainly would be better than not doing that. Um, there we go, trample in haste. And then we will, uh, play, play, play this. Okay, we're down to four, down to three. Um, if they kill Loris, then they won't die. But that's, that's the stakes. Four mana, what's that? Doom foretold. Okay, we'll get rid of Roiling Vortex, I guess. I guess we could have prevented them from healing. Okay, then we have to do 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 prevent them from. Okay, so they have these two, so they're not going. To, we're not going to be able to 
kill them with damage. Um, I do think we want to keep this one from because we could just bring it right back if we wanted to. This is a tough one. This is a tough, toughy. So I think, hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then going to trample in haste, and then we are going to cycle this one. I think I think they would probably double up on Loris. So we'll, we'll we'll go with that. We'll go with that. And we might as well activate that ability. No no life gain allowed. So then we have to get rid of this one again. Oh, the draw. Not very good. Hmm. More good. More good now. Ah, I want to do it. I want to do it. I'm going to do it. I did it. Sometimes you just get that urge to throw the big spell on their face. Well, I've been using a lot more time than they have, which makes sense. Some real thinkers in here. Did, they did a double. They did a double for that one. Okay. Keep on, keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got it. really thinking about which lands to tap. Okay. This 
So I think that means he doesn't have what he needs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. I was right. That's right. He scried because he didn't have what he needed. The counter spell. Didn't have that counter spell. He was trying to trick me into thinking that he had a counter spell when he did not. But I didn't fall for it. That sign won't stop me because I don't know how to read. Alabama man, you have taken a loss on this day. No lands. Zero. Why? Why? Why make a game like that? Why make a game where you can get zero lands? Okay. Startling development or, oh well, yeah, right, we'll get rid of that one. So we can't play Flourishing Fox, so we might as well do the try. We need a token on that bad boy. Got negate. They could discard it though. That's something they could do. Oh my. So let's see. I think. I think we would be okay. I think we would be fine. Well, they're gonna have they're gonna have turn three, so it's gonna be Elspeth. It's gonna be Elspeth. I didn't think about that. You know, you never think about it. You never, you never, you always got to think about Elspeth. It's weird because I know someone named Elspeth, so it's like every time. I see the card, which is often, I think, about the person I know named Elspeth. Man. Hit. Nope. Nope. They were waiting the whole time. It's okay. It's all right. We know they don't have Elspeth, at least. At least there's that, because they would have used it for sure. Um, go with that one. Stinger. And Cycle? Cycle? Cycle. Yeah. Confirm the damage. Confirm the damage. See, it's... You go second, it's so... Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, it is the beginning of our turn. We have no creatures in our hand. I say, confirm the damage. Okay, that's a creature. That's a creature. Now the question is, do we play it because it will die? Right. I mean, they don't have anything. I mean, they could play the scry card, I guess, right? That's a possibility. So why don't we just go Luris? 
Mm -hmm. They're doing the scry card. There it is. Yeah. Omen of the sea. The chicken of the sea. That's what people call tuna. Because it's like they thought it was a good branding opportunity. Bottom. Bottom is good. Bottom means that they did not get the delicious prizes that they require. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to discard a card. And I guess I'll discard that. Right? Or... Well, yeah. Okay. We can do this. Ba 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 ba. Play Loris. Play Flourishing Fox. Going to cycle. Maybe. If they don't do extinction event. We'll see. We'll see if they do extinction event. They did extinction event. Then we're not gonna... We're not. I should have gotten a two mana. Probably. Is the, the moral of that story. It's okay. I kept a spare. Um. Hmm. Well, let's let's just keep what we have for now. We'll see what they do. They have a lot of mana. Six is when they can do some scary stuff. And we want to keep the negate on hand. For that. Okay, they didn't do the scary stuff. That's good. I'm happy for that. I'm happy they did not do the scary stuff that I was afraid of. I don't know why they have their entire mana, though. All their mana. They're not doing anything with it. You know? Got all that mana, you'd think you'd want to use a little bit of it. Just a taste. Just to see just to just to see. Omen of the sea. So they're saying, do you wanna do you wanna counter that? No. Okay. That wasn't as bad. I thought they were gonna kill him. Kill my fox. I guess not. I guess not. Hmm. Oh, bringing it back. Bringing it back. No, no thank you. Not a fan of that. Okay. This is looking bad for us. We have the Zenith Flare, but little else.
So we're going to be looking for Emerging Ultimatum. I think they... Well, they don't have green on the field, so maybe they don't have that. Um, uh, past blockers. Okay. I'll take the damage. I guess. Are, you, are they going to do anything with their turn? Maybe next time. Doom foretold. Hmm. Non-land, non-token permanent. Each turn. They have a lot more. You know what? It's okay. It'll be okay. My turn. I think that I I would hate to get rid of Flourishing Fox. So we'll get rid of the stinger. Oh, we got another one. That's okay. We don't we don't need to use it right now. So if they attacked with everything, it would be four, five, six, seven. And I would take one. Okay. 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 I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I'm just going to cycle. Gotta power up the Zenith Flare, you know? Double Zenith Flare. Oh, well, this changes everything. They're not ready to give it up yet. Okay, I'm only going to take four. Then what, what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? That's going to be Alabama, man. Okay. So we would die, we would die without the Zenith Flare. So and since we need the Negate to cast it, okay, here's my thoughts. No attacks and turn. We are going to Zenith Flare, the face. Then we are going to negate the spell. And there, do they have another one? They had another one. No. No. Okay. All right. Double negate. No one expects the double negate. Only 91% now. We've lost the 1%. okay Ugh, it is it is challenging to go up against these magic pros as a as a poor poor man myself so I think honestly that deck is so 
stacked, literally stacked against um, cycling, it's really hard to get a win off of them.